Hello, Tario Frost here, back again for a deck profile. If you couldn't tell, it is for Thagria, one of the newest decks I know of for uh, Overdress, for the Overdress format in Cardfight Vanguard. Uh, I've tested this once or twice. Uh, I know I've tested it with Woodland Docks. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find them. And I've tested it once against the Casual Card Gamer. Same thing, I'll leave a link to both of their uh, respective uh, YouTube channel streams where you can find them basically. So first off with the ride line we have Knight of Integrity Thagria, uh, Beneath the Brilliant Light Thagria, Harsh Training Thagria, One Who Walks in the Path of Light Thagria. All of them except for the Grade Zero have like a ride ability basically. Uh, obviously Grade Zero, one is Road Upon and if you go second you draw a card. That's with a lot of them. With the Grade 1, uh, when it's wrought upon by the Grade 2 Thagria, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's Grade 2 or less unit card, you may call it to the rear guard as uh, tapped. So pretty good, considering you can get a Grade 2 out really early, really fast, right? Uh, for the Great Tooth Agreer, when it's wrought upon by the Great Three Thagreer, either one, the light or the dark, uh, you can look at the top five cards of your deck, choose up to one card with the Gria or Maple in its name from among it, reveal the card, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. I know with the, I want to say it's standard, there's a lot of cards where you can look at the top five, add a card from your deck to your hand, then discard a card, but with this, you don't have the discard, you just... Reveal either a Thagria or a Maple at the hand and shuffle your deck. Super simple. Then Grade 3 Thagria, the light one. It's a really cool card. Really cool card. Uh, the normal ride uh, from your hand with the unit with Thagria and its different card name. Uh, from this unit, it becomes a Persona ride. So if you ride the dark one on light, it's a Persona ride as long as it has Thagria in the name. Which I think is kind of cool. I think it's really cool so you can play both cards in your deck without really worrying about that Persona ride. Uh, once per turn, you can kind of bless one. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one grade two or less unit from among them. Call it to rear and shuffle your deck. If one who blooms in the dark Thagria is in your soul, choose up to two of them instead. So you can at least... Add one grade two. Yeah, you can at least add one grade two or less unit from your deck to your hand. Then you have, if you have the Dark Thagria in your soul, you can add two, which is really cool. Or you can call two. Uh, then the other effect at the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If this unit was placed by writing from one who blooms in the Dark Thagria. This turn, discard a card from your hand and choose one of your rear guards and stand it. So it gives you another attack bonus. So, like if you have a setup like this on your board, you're going to attack, attack, use the effect to discard a card, then stand up. You know, so it's really cool. You have quite a few attacks you can do with it that way, and it's just pretty cool, I think. Then, onto the rest of the deck. Uh, with the grade threes, there's not many. I have the remaining three light Thagrias, and I have four copies of the dark Thagria. Now, I just went over the light one with the dark one. Same thing as for the first ability. If you ride on top of the light one, it counts as a persona ride. Uh, once per turn, you can retire two grade, two or less regards. Choose one of your opponent's regards and retire it. If one, if the Light Thagria is in your soul, retire all of your opponent's rear guards in the same column as a chosen unit. So with it, you can retire at least one. Then if you have the Light Thagria in your soul, you can retire all the ones in that same column. So pretty cool. Uh, at the end of the battle, that this unit attacked, if the unit was placed by riding from the Light Thagria this turn, you can kind of bless one and discard one card from your hand. To stand this unit and it gets minus one drive until the end of the turn. So, where the light Thagria, you stand one of your rear guards, with the dark one, you stand her, the vanguard. So, 
I think it's pretty cool to see the difference and similarities of each one. You can see the clear, like, Dark Paladin and the Royal Paladin in each one. So, like, I've, I've been really interested in this deck since I saw it come out, or saw it uh, revealed. Then on to the Grade 2. The Grade 2s. We got... We got Maple. We got the famous Blaster Blade. And we have Knight of Protective Spear Arthur. I need to... With, uh, with Blaster Blade, basically when it's placed, I believe you counter blast one. Yeah, you counter blast one and choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards and retire it. So it's great to have in your hand early on. Uh, and it's when it's placed, so if you manage to call it outside of your hand, like from the deck or from the uh, drop zone here, it still gets the effect, so that's pretty cool. With Arthen, I mostly use it for the first effect, where, uh, for the front row rear guard, while well, it's in the front row rear guard, all of your rear guard with different card names from this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's artifact. So, if you're going up against Prison, for example, they would have to get rid of Arthen here, then go after your other rear guard. Uh, then the end of that effect, uh, when this unit attacks, if you persona roll the stern, this unit gets plus 5k until end of turn. So just a little power boost to bring it up to 15k if you persona roll this turn. Like I said, I mostly use it for that first effect, because that is just so good, I believe. Then with Maple, when it's in your drop zone, if you if you place a grade 3 or greater this turn, you can... Uh, during the ride phase, you can't... If you don't... Basically, when you ride... A grade 3 during your ride phase, and this is in your drop, you can call this from your drop zone so long as you don't have a, another maple on the field. Uh, then, if your vanguard with the Gria has the glitter, it also has the effect of at the end of battle that this unit attacks, kind of blast one or more cards, Choose a card from your soul with the same grade as the sum of grades of your cards. Soul Blast. For this cost, put it into your hand. And put this unit into soul. So, if you have a Thagria with Glitter, like let's say this dark one right here that you can see, you can Soul Blast a Grade 1 and Grade 2. If you have the Light Thagria in your soul, you can Counter Blast the Grade 1 and the Grade 2. Then add that grade three through Gria back to your hand so you can persona ride the next turn. So it's a it's a decent way to do it, and with discarding a card to for your ride deck anyways, you can just if you have a maple in your hand, you can discard it, go into grade three, then the next turn you can uh, bring it out. Super simple way to just get it out. Then go into the grade one. We have three Live Saving Angel Digreal. We have four Knight of Old Animosity Camlets. And we have four PGs uh, Kurabiel. Uh, with our Knight of Animosity. Animosity. Sorry, when this unit attacks, if your guard was retired by your vanguard's ability this turn, Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets plus 10k until the end of the battle. So this one strives with the Dark Thagria. It's so like you could bring out a Grade 2 here and a Grade 2 here. Uh, use Thagria's effect to pop them. Stands and uh, basically bring this guy out. Or not bring it out, but you can Soul Blast and boost it up by 10k, bring it up to 20k. So I don't fully know the deck yet. If you couldn't tell, I'm still trying to learn some of the cards. Uh, then we have the PG. It's not the best PG, but it's the one I have, so I'm using it. Then with her, Life Saving Angel. When your other unit in the same column as this unit stood from a card's effect, you may return this card to your hand, so it's just a little bit of extra power going back to your hand. So you would 
Ideally, put her in the back row. Stand a unit with the Greer's effect, then bring this card back to your hand. Four heal, four critical, three front, four draw, and one overdress, over trigger. Now, ideally, I would have the other over trigger, but this is the only one I got because the other one is kind of expensive for me. Uh, but yeah, they're just triggers. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's really the Greer. I hope you enjoyed the profile, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay frosty, my friends.